this is John Colo at DiscountJuicers.com. I have another exciting episode for you. And you know, a question I get a lot of the time is, hey John, does the Omega 8006 or the 8004, which is identical to the 8006, or the 8003 and 8005, which are similar to this model, but this is the improved model, 8004 and 8006, or the improved model of the horizontal single otter style design by Omega. But does this style machine juice fruits? Because you guys see me juicing a lot of vegetables with this guy, but I don't have a lot of videos juicing fruits. You mainly see me juice fruits with the Omega Vert juicer, and that's because in my opinion, the Omega Vert does a lot better when juicing fruits than this one will. Not to say that this one doesn't, but you know, uh, for me, I have many juicers in my arsenal or in my toolbox that I could pick from, and I choose the right one that's gonna juice the item I'm juicing best at the time. That being said, most juicers will pretty much juice anything, but some of them will do better than others. So uh, most of the time when I'm juicing pineapple, and here's a tip, if you're buying pineapple by the pound, just spin off and twist off the top before you pay for it. That might save you about 50 cents, maybe even a buck sometimes. It'll make it lighter. Most of the time I will juice uh, pineapple in the Omega Vert, does a lot better job. But the 8006 will do it as well. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys actually how to do it the best way in the Omega 8006 juicer. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take the pineapple where he took off the top and we're going to cut off the top and the bottom. So you know if you do have an organic pineapple you can juice the skin and all. Uh, in this case we're going to cut off the skin. The skin may not make the juice quite as sweet. And we're just simply cutting off the top and the bottom. And we got that cut off. Once you got it like this I like to put it on a cutting board. And then we're just going to cut off the edges. Now, especially if you're not getting an organic pineapple, uh, pineapples are treated with fungicides, which are not too good to ingest. So I encourage you guys to wash and also, you know, cut off the outside of your pineapple. Also, you may want to notice, you know, on here, I'm, as I'm cutting off, you can see the little eyes. And, you know, sometimes I like to look in the eyes and make sure there's no dirt or mold. Or sometimes, you know, you could actually just cut out each, each individual eye if it bothers you. I'm not that picky, you know. This is an organic pineapple after all, so... We're just going to go ahead and, and cut this off and leave some of the eyes in there. So once you go around and cut off all the skin of the pineapple, you're going to be left with the pineapple, uh, the main fruit right here. And you can see I got most of the skin off there. And it's a nice little fruit here in my hand. Now the main parts of the pineapple, there's two sections to a pineapple. Number one, there's the fruit area, which is around the main core. Now this core area is very hard and fibrous. So when cutting the pineapple to fit in the Omega feed chute, which is an inch and a half diameter, <laughs> this whole thing's not going to fit. So we just simply need to cut this in long uh, slices so that it will fit. So what I like to do is kind of like uh, make this in like a tic-tac-toe pattern. I'll just go straight down the pineapple into maybe like one inch sections. And once I got it cut down this direction, then I'll, uh, you know, cut down this direction. And when I do this, what I'm going to be left with is that nice little section that could be easily fed into the machine. Go ahead, I got a couple more slices here. So you can see I, I now have some nice pineapple spears that will easily fit into the machine. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of spears and these spears will easily fit into the juicer. Now the one thing I want you to be aware of is that you're going to have the fruit spears to so the outside or non-core spears. These are going to be the spears that are maybe kind of jam up the juice a little bit. The juicer really needs some hard fibrous material such as the core to really push things through the machine to work really well. That's why this machine works fairly good with the hard vegetables and the you know um, leafy greens but not necessarily the soft fruit. When picking any fruit including pineapple you want to get ones that are nice, hard, and firm. If they're soft and mealy and mushy, it's actually going to mush up and not do too good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and turn this machine on. And we're just going to drop in one piece of pineapple at a time. And you can see it go through there. And the Omega 8006 has a two-stage juicing. So upon initial crush, you're going to get some juice out. And then uh, along the way, you're going to get more juice out of the second stage. So now upon initial crush, you can see a lot of the juice is actually just dripping out the bottom and then as the pulp comes along and goes through this uh, auger, it basically gets crushed and squeezed out and here's the pulp. This pulp is actually fairly dry. Let's go ahead and continue to put pieces into the juicer and as you can see, I'm just using the pusher and just pushing very gently. You don't want to sit there and push things 
really hard on the machine, you know, almost just sticking this on there and letting it run itself through is all it's going to take to, uh, you know, get the pineapple pieces through the machine. Now you want to slow down when feeding in the Omega 8006 juicer. If you feed things too fast, you'll get a little bit backed up. And the other thing I want you to be aware of is, you know, once you get a lot of this juice kind of like in this area and it's not moving out, what you want to do is then you want to try to grab a piece that heart has some of that core in there, the fibrous core. And if you put that in, that'll help flush out the machine because this is a situation you will see will get backed up. And what that's telling you is that you don't have enough, enough hard fibrous material to uh, get all the, the pulp pushed through the machine. So we're just going to go continue to uh, feed in some of the pineapple through the machine here. And as you can see now, this is really kind of getting backed up. So now we're going to take another uh, fibrous core piece to uh, help move the pulp through. Sometimes you might want to give the Omega 8006 some time to work, but still you can see we're pretty clogged up there with some pulp. Sometimes I like to take the pusher, which does have like a little silicone o-ring in here, and push this through and help push some air into there, which will help push some of that juice out and get this area cleaned up a little bit. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, drop some more pineapple in the machine and get it juiced right up. So as you can see, this area in the juicer is actually all clogged up, and this is actually one of the reasons why I don't necessarily like to juice pineapple in the Omega 8006 or straight fruits. Now, if I was doing pineapple carrot juice, for example, you would have no problems whatsoever because what you would do is you feed in a spear of pineapple, and then you feed in one carrot, and guess what? That carrot, the hard fibrous nature of the carrot will actually push all this pulp through, and you won't get this clogging. It's because we're using only fruit or only pineapple in the juicer that we are getting this problem. So for that reason, if you want to juice straight fruits, a lot of the time I may recommend a different style of juicer than this one. This one is actually good for do, doing straight leafy green vegetables and some hard vegetables, but not necessarily the best at juicing only fruits. One of the things when juicing fruits with the Omega 8006, you gotta have some patience. This is running at a slow 80 RPM, that's revolutions per minute, and what that's gonna mean for you it's going to maximize your nutritional content. Many juices that spin at 10,000 RPMs, running really fast, introducing more air into the juice, and it's literally oxidizing your juice, lowering the nutrition of your juice. So this is taking a little bit of time. And that's yet another uh, you know, con of this machine is that it does take more time, but you will be rewarded with a higher quality juice. So we're getting backed up a little bit again. I think we're gonna to try to go ahead and put another core piece in to try to help push out some of this pulp. And I want, to, I want you to see this pulp coming out now. Now that we're putting this hard core in, you can see the pulp ejecting out of the end of the machine here. And let's check this pulp out. This, this pulp right here, stuff's pretty dry. So as you can see, my feed chute is totally backed up, and you know if that happens, no big deal. You're just going to take your pusher and push it down very slowly and carefully to feed it in the machine, and to just leave it sitting in there to keep the pressure to make the auger juice it all up. I'm going to take that off, tap this down, and once again, we're just going to go ahead and do like a little suction cup thing, to try to get this all into the machine. Once we've done that and it's more clear, we're going to go ahead and feed in the last few pieces of pineapple. And you always want to save some of that hard fibrous core as the last thing you feed in the juicer. And here's our final piece of core we're going to feed in last. But before I do, you know, I wish all pineapples were just solid cores. If you work at a place that uses the fruit and not the core, save the cores. The cores are the best to juice. I have heard they're actually very high in the protolytic enzyme and the nutrition, but most people don't like to eat the core because it's so hard and fibrous, but the juicer loves the core. It reminds me of a Beach Boys song that my dad used to uh, play when I was a kid. I wish they all could be California girls. And it should be like, I wish they could all be pineapple cores. Because they juice a lot better. 
and always when juicing in the Omega 8006 or other low speed machines, you want to let them run for a little bit after you're done putting that last piece in to get all the juice out. We've let it run for a little bit, looks like it's done. We're going to turn off this machine and we're going to show you guys what we got. So uh, we got some pulp here, and the pulp that did come out, it's fairly dry. Can't really squeeze any juice out of it. And one of the things I like to do is I like to take the screen that comes with the juicer, and many people may stick it on the um, juice collection cup as the juice comes out the machine. What I like to do instead is actually take the uh, screen here and put it on the collection cup after I get the juice out. Then I'll actually sieve it after. I find this works uh, a lot better. And now we'll pour this juice through, and you can see I got some good juice here, but there's also a good percentage of fiber in here. Uh, once I pour some of the juice in this screen here, what I like to do is just lift this up very carefully and then tap it up and down. This will get some of the liquid through the screen into my collection cup. Very simple. Tap it up and down, and what we're left with here is all the juicy pulp. So if you like the pulp in your juice, you can put this back in. Today I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to save it for a friend. All right, so let's strain some more juice. Here it is, we got a lot of the foam here. Every juicer will create some level of foam. Foam is all right, you could totally drink this up if you'd like. I'm gonna uh, strain it out. Once again, we're just uh, tapping our sieve here down to get some of the juice through it. All right, here's that juicy pulp that I don't wanna drink that we'll save for a friend. We'll just put it in a bowl. This is definitely uh, still good to drink. And uh, once again, we're gonna strain the last bit of juice out. If you find any things like this, in your sieve, don't be alarmed. It looks like a little flax seed here. It's on my finger. These are actually pineapple seeds. So you, you can actually take these seeds and try to grow them into its own pineapple plant. What I like to do instead, mm, eat them. They're nice and delicious. So now I have my sieved pineapple juice. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in a jar. Look at that, nice, clean, and rich. Definitely created over 16 ounces of fresh pineapple juice with the Omega 8006 juicer and one pineapple. And that's how you juice a pineapple in the Omega 8006 juicer. It can be done, and you could use other fruits in the Omega 8006, but in general, if you want to use straight fruits, I don't necessarily recommend this machine. Hopefully now you know how to juice properly a pineapple in the Omega 8006. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.